simplest program needed for an Arduino to speak to and control a strip of RGB LEDs. This example program uses a library called the Adafruit NeoPixel Library. This library is useful for controlling RGB LED strips and individual lights, even if they are not a NeoPixel light from Adafruit. There are two numbers that help the Arduino program speak to the LED strip. The first says how many LEDs are on the strip. The second says what pin number on the Arduino header the LEDs are plugged into. These numbers are constant, meaning you cannot change them once the program runs. Here we have the variable called strip, which is built by the Adafruit NeoPixel library. And we're instructing it how many LEDs are on the strip and what pin it's connected to. And this section here describes the type of LED connected to the strip. You can read inside of the Adafruit NeoPixel library to find out what the options are here. However, if you uh, give it an instruction to light up as red and instead you see green, that might be this section here needs to be GRB instead of RGB. All Arduino programs have two main components. They have a setup function and a loop function. When the Arduino boots up, it runs the setup function exactly once. This is your chance to do initialization and preparation for the program to function. In the case of the Adafruit NeoPixel, you need to ask the LED strip to begin its work. Nothing happens visibly when you call this. It just prepares the strip to do the later instructions. The loop function is repeatedly called by the Arduino. This is a very simple section here. We speak to the strip and we say set the pixel color an individual LED is a pixel, number zero, that's the very first LED on the strip, and we're building a color value here. A color value is built out of three numbers. Each number goes from zero to 255. The first number is the red value, the second number is the green value, and the final number is the blue value, R, G, B. In this case, we've selected 255 as the red value, which is as bright red as you can get, and zero for green and blue. When we're done instructing various pixel locations in the strip to have a color, we say strip.show. This is the first time when you can actually see visible changes on the LED strip. After you have the program set up, hit the upload button, and the program will be sent to the Arduino.